horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Great sections of the western United States were thrown open to homesteaders in the years that followed the Civil War, a tidal wave of emigration headed for the new country. But the pioneers faced many difficulties. The forces of nature, hostile ranchers and Indians, and even government agents who used their public office for private gain. It was only the masked rider of the plains who protected the interests of the settlers. It was only his strength and courage that overcame the obstacles in their path and help them realize their vision of the future. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the Cimarron. Huddle's waiting for us. Huddle, Silver, away! When Jeff Carruthers got his section of land proved up and homesteaded, the first thing he did was arrange to build a decent-sized house in place of the sod cabin he'd lived in for a year. People were few and far between in that country, but they were all neighbors. Everyone came to the house raising. Yes, sir. Me and Molly have been so busy the past year homesteading our land, we ain't had time to put up a decent home. We're all pitching in, Jeff. You'll have a roof over your heads come sundown. Just imagine, living in one room for a whole year, winter and summer, and now we'll have four full rooms. Molly, we're going to be the happiest couple west of the Missouri River. Hey, Look Jeff! Up, huh? Carruthers! The men are calling you, Jeff. What's eating you, Jeff? <laughs> we got the roof tree all ready to go up. Want us to do all the work? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Right with you, gents. Who's climbing up to the top with me? How about you, Barry? You know, Jeff, raise you up the ladder. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I'd call it a dead heat. I reckon so. Now sit tight. There ain't much room to hold on to. Now grab that rope and heave. Anytime you say. All right, you gents. Hoist it up and me and Barry will set her in place and nail her down. Yippee! Here she comes! Everybody! Hoist! Heave! Heave! Lift her! Hoist! Heave! Hoist! Heave! 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 Pull that rope, Barry. Here it comes. Bring her in up there. <laughs> Grab her, Barry. Keep her steady, gents. Barry and me will settle her right in the grooves where she belongs. Uh, careful. Another inch or two. Uh, that's from one end. Hey, Texas. Swimming up that mall, will you? I'll need to knock in the other end. It's on the rope's end, Jeff. Pull it up. Can you reach it, Barry? Uh, up a bit. I got it. Uh, thanks. 
Now we can straddle along this timber to the other end. Can you get a place to stand while you swing on the roof tree, Jeff? I reckon I can stand right about here. I'll hold your feet to brace you. Guess I can knock that roof tree into place with three wallops. It'll take at least six. Hear that down there? Jeff says he can do it in three. <laughs> I'll bet he don't. Oh, he will too. Go on, Jeff. Show him. Here I go. <laughs> One. She moved. Not enough. Here I go. Two. You'll never make it in three. Ready? Brace my feet, Barry. This is a big one. Then we slide down the rope to the ground. If you make it in three. Well, just watch this one. <laughs> By gravy, you done it, Jeff. You sure are one strong hombre. Grab the rope. We're going down. <laughs> The roof trees up. What do you say we eat? Sure. Yeah. Every time a new house goes up, we set down to food when the roof tree goes up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of food. And my Molly fixed the best food you ever sat down to. It's right over on the tables waiting. Just sat down on the benches. Right. Where's Jeff Brothers? Well, it's the sheriff. And he's got Lim Dawson with him. Well, howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Dawson. You're just in time for food. Get off your horses and join us. That's right. Welcome to our new home. You're mistaken, Mrs. Kirby. This isn't your home, new or otherwise. What's that you say? This here land belongs to me, and everything ought to belong to me. Dawson. That may be your idea of a joke, but I can't say I care for it. Hey, don't joke, Carruthers. Oh, doggone. Sheriff, is he loco? This is my land. I hate to tell you, Carruthers. Dawson's correct. He's got the law on his side. But, but we homesteaded this land. We worked it. That's too bad. It so happens I homesteaded it three years ago. And what's more, I proved up on it. Spent my required year. I'm giving you orders to get off. Molly, stand aside. If there's gunplay, I want you out of the way. I got my guns too, Jeff. You can count on me. I'm siding with you, Jeff. Say the word and we start pulling trigger. And yeah, no, Sheriff, no, Sheriff, do your duty. There'll be no shooting. You hear me? Quiet down, all of you. There'll be no shooting. Sheriff, you can't You do know it. me and you know what I stand for. i always been fair and square. Then what are you doing here in company with that coyote? I'm sorry, ma'am. I consider you my friends and that makes it tougher. But either I hand in my badge or I do my job. The law's the law, and this here land belongs to Lem Dawson. I'm claiming it, Crothers. You got one week to clear out. That's all. One week. Otto. Huh? Me hear him. Oh, Silver. That not fight. Bullets from the same gun. Somebody's practicing shooting, Kimosabe. Me not see where. That way. Yes, I see him now. Next to that half-built house. He's standing there and... Well, that's odd. What matter? That house. Why isn't he working on it? Huh? It's only half finished. Framework is up and that's all. He's out practicing a quick draw. There's something wrong. You think that? Head down the slope, Tonto. We're going to check up. Get him up, Scout. All right, Silver. <laughs> Coming. Don't bother me, Molly. I'm sharpening up my shooting. So I can settle with Dawson next time I see him. Jeff, stop. No, doggone it, Molly. I tell you stop that I... Stop yourself, Jeff Carruthers. It's a masked man and an engine. There must be outlaws. What? Oh, yonder, over there. Well, i My mind was so occupied I didn't notice. Well, who are you and what do you want? You don't need that gun. Speak your piece, mister, and be sharp about it. I'm busy. So I see. Busy target shooting or house building? What business is it of yours, mister? You're a mask, and you're not None welcome. Not my business, strictly speaking. I just thought Tonto and I might be able to help you. The kind of trouble I got can be settled only one way. Besides, no redskin or mask on Rick. What in blazes? One side. Where's my horse? Jeff, wait. It's Dawson. <coughs> now I'll get him. Jeff! Listen, stop him. Stop him. Who's Dawson? What's this about? Dawson claims this homestead belongs to him, and we've got to get off after working for more than a year. Jeff aims to settle it with his guns. Tonto, wait here. And where you go? I'm stopping that fight. Wait here. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Dawson, I told you what would happen. I come to tell you you got three days to I clear. ain't clearing out. Three days. I warned you. No man can rob me of my home. You're wearing guns, and I'll get ready to use them. I'll have the sheriff. You'll have six feet of earth over you. Reach for your guns, Dawson. I'm drawn. No! Oh! 
Oh, my hand. Where are the guns? Uh, my hand is busted. Your hand just numb, Dawson. I hit your gun. Curtis, I'll have the law on you for certain now. You and this part of yours, he... Jumping Mavericks, he's wearing a mask. He's no part of mine. He shot my gun out of my hand, too. Yes, man. So you pals with an outlaw, eh? Huh? Kino Carruthers, I'll tell the sheriff about this, about everything. You won't only be dispossessed, but you may end up in jail. Adios. Get up there. Get Boy, up. that ornery polecat. You almost slipped your neck right in the noose, Carruthers. Yeah, I reckon so. If I hadn't stopped you, you might have killed him. I wish I had. I. No, I guess I don't. I guess I must have gone loco. But what's a man to do when he stands to lose everything to a polecat like Dawson? My offer still goes, Crothers. Huh? Suppose you tell me the whole story. But what could you do? Well, first of all, I could listen. How about it? All right, mister. Why shouldn't I tell you? Get the engine, and Molly and me will give you the whole setup right from the beginning. <laughs> That's the whole story, mister. All the way through from the time we come out here. A story that ends next Saturday, mass men. Well, when do you leave? Next Saturday. Three more days. I don't reckon anybody can save the place for us. Is Dawson's claim legal? Yeah. It seems he proved up on this land himself a few years ago. But nobody ever told us. The government man should have told you. Well, he didn't. We figure he made a mistake. Got his land sections mixed. Yeah. He most likely thought he was directing us to a section that was free land. Well, nothing we can do about it now. I'm not so sure. Huh? What's the land agent's name? Where is he? Well, his name is Sully. His office is in town, but... Oh, we've already talked to him, mister. He's plumb disturbed about it, but he says he can't help us. Sully, huh? All right, Crothers. You'll hear from us. Here, Silver. Whoa, oh, Scout. Whoa. Remember, Crothers, no more gunfighting. It's a promise, mister. Well, I reckon Molly and me might just as well get ready to pull up stakes and move. You still have three days. Hip! <laughs> A lot can happen in three days. Adios. Adios. Maybe see you later. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Do you think we ever will see him again, Jeff? I don't know, Molly. Shucks, there isn't a thing he can do to help us. But still, I don't know. There's something about him makes me wonder. Maybe he can help us, Molly. Maybe he can. Got plan, Kimasabi? Have you ever heard the name Sully before, Tano? Sully? You mean land agent? Think back. Uh, me not savvy. Last year, Kimosabe, when we were near Pecos. Oh, that right. Sully. That name a man who almost go to jail. He just missed. He was a government land agent, too. Couldn't be proved, but everyone believed he was using his office to grab land for himself. You think this same man? It's the same man, Tonto. I'm almost certain Sully headed west from Pecos. Ah, and what we do? First, we'll take a look at this land agent. After that, if he's our man, we'll pay a visit to the sheriff. Carruthers has a right to that land, and we're going to see he keeps it. Bring up, Tonto. Look there. Ah. Two men in front of the house. One of them's a sheriff. He's wearing his badge. And the other one? Ah, oh, that one's Sully. Him same man. The same man we saw in Pecos, Tonto. There he goes into the building. It's marked land office, so he must be the land agent. Sheriff, right this way. Good. We'll wait for him. Huh? Maybe him in with crooks. I don't think so. At any rate, we'll soon find out. And whatever happens, Tonto, no gunplay. Huh? No gunplay. We'll let things take their course. Just trust me and follow my lead. Hello, Sheriff. Howdy, gents. Welcome to... Well, of all the brazen nerve, your mask. Keep your hands higher, I let fire. You think this is the kind of town where a masked man can ride in at broad daylight? Take it easy, Sheriff. After all, there are plenty of towns in the West that would welcome a stranger with uh, cash on him. Masked or not, it wouldn't make any difference. It makes a difference to me. This is a law-abiding town. Take your choice, mister. Vamoose or go to jail. I think we'll stay, Sheriff. We, uh, we like it here. All right, mister. Walk your horses in front of me. Try to run, you get shot. You like it here so much, let's see how you like the jailhouse. 
curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story, before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto allowed the sheriff to arrest them and put them in the jailhouse. Their guns were taken from them and placed in the sheriff's desk. Silver and Scout were corralled outside. Although Tonto wondered why the masked man had told him not to resist, he asked no questions until they were locked in the cell. They both stay right here. As soon as I get them wanted posters, I'll come back here, mister. That mask yours comes off in... No, you not take off mask. No, Injun? Well, we'll see about that. I reckon your part is wanted someplace, otherwise you wouldn't wear a mask. You not Otto. take off... Go ahead, Sheriff. We'll wait for you. <laughs> for a man behind bars, you sure got a sense of humor. <laughs> you doggone right you'll wait for me. All right, Tonto. I know you've been wondering about all this. Oh, um, why we do this? Him got guns, got silver, got scout. Him lock us up. For a good reason, Tonto. Well, first of all, to make sure the sheriff isn't in league with Sully and Dawson. Huh? There are plenty of sheriffs who aren't honest, Kimosabe. We saw this man talking to Sully. Yet when I indirectly suggested that he take a bribe to let us alone, he refused. Oh, Tonto savvy now. Sheriff Goodman, huh? He is. That means we can count on him. Maybe so. You'll see. Now, what's more important, Tonto, is that Sully knows who I am. He does? Of course he does. We help chase him out of Pecos. Not right. But what you do when Sheriff won't take off mask? We'll worry about that when he comes back. Right now. Did you notice that Sully saw the Sheriff arrest us? No, Tonto not watch. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. He came out of his office and took his horse. I'm sure he's on his way to see Dawson. Him worried? He must be. Now we'll see if... Quiet. Here comes the Sheriff. Him got posters. Steady. I'll handle this. Now, mister, I reckon you can take off that mask so that I can tell which one of these men you are. The mask stays on, Sheriff. Being stubborn won't do you no good, mister. Sheriff, we came here to help Jeff. Carruthers? What kind of lingo is this? It's straight talk, which is much more than Dawson gave you when he told you to order Jeff off that land. Hey, listen, how come you savvy so much, mister? What's under that mask? Who are you? Suppose I tell you that Dawson is crooked, that he's working with a land agent to cheat Jeff. Sully? He's on his way to Dawson right now. Why, you're loco, mister. Sully don't even know Dawson. That's where you're wrong. Big talk, mister. It's getting dark outside. Why not go and find out? All right, all right, I will. I'm calling your bluff. I'm heading for Dawson's place right this minute. If him and Sully are planning something, I'll hear it, and I'll know it. And you and the engine can stay right here till I find out. <laughs> Stay here, horse. From this point on, I go up Indian fashion. Well, I'll be. Maybe that masked hombre had something. That sure looks like Sully's horse. It is Sully. He's in there with Dawson. I'll get up close and get an earful. Are you sure what you're talking about, Sully? Oh, you know, maybe that's someone else's here putting the calaboose. I got eyes, Dawson. It's him. Just because he's wearing the mask. Mask. The horse named Silver, the engine. It all fits. Operation Dawson, he almost got me jailed in Pecos. I guess they ought to know the Lone Ranger when I see him. The Lone Ranger? Well, yeah, I'll be... all right, then. But why did they let the sheriff put him in jail? I don't know. Maybe the sheriff don't know who he is. I do now, all right. You gotta make sure the masked man don't get out of jail, Dawson. Least of ways, now that you get that land and have a chance to sell it. I can sell it easy. There's gold on that land, even if Carruthers don't know it. Sure, that's it, gold, huh? We should discover that before Carruthers started the homestead. Yeah, uh, forget it. It's fixed as soon as they take the land, ain't it? Yeah, but what about the masked man, the engine? Yeah, I reckon we better finish him, Sally. Why, they huh? only coyotes. Got guns. But they're in jail. Sure, they're in jail. That means they have no guns and they can't move. All we do is go up to the cell window, shoot at him point blank. Yeah, it could be done. It's got to be done. Can you get the sheriff out of the way? I reckon I can think up some excuse. Well, you can, huh? Let's head for town. You draw the sheriff away and I'll do the shooting. 
We can fix an alibi later if one's needed. Come on, the horses are outside. Now's my chance. All the dirty, cheating rattlesnakes, them two are the worst. I'll go and see the sheriff. Throw up your hands. But the, the sheriff. Yeah, keep your hands off your guns. I'm right here, Sully, seeing as how you were asking for me. Why, what, well, what's the gun for, Sheriff? There ain't no call. Never for... mind the talk, Sully. It so happens I heard every word you said. You what? Yeah. You two are going into jail, and the masked man and the engine are coming out. Well, Dawson, I reckon that game's up. You know, Sheriff, we surrender. All right, hand over your guns. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Dawson, give him your guns. All right, Sheriff, you got us dead to rights. Here you are. But first... No funny business. No, Dawson, no, sir. Oh, get his gun on. I got him. Oh. Uh, nice work, Sally. He's out cold on the dead buffalo. Do we finish him? No, no sense doing that if it ain't needed. Grab his feet. We'll drag him into the cabin. There's plenty of rope inside. You know, we tie him up and gag him. Leave him here until afterwards. Afterwards? What do you mean, afterwards? The Lone Ranger, Dawson. Yeah? The mass man. We're going to town and finish off the mass man as engine part, like you said. And to anybody who asks about the sheriff... We spread the yarn that he went after the killers, have you? Yeah, silly, I get it. Then we take care of the sheriff, eh? Right. There won't nobody suspect us then. Now, come on, get that rope. We got to hit for town. Town's asleep. There's nobody watching. A few steps more to the jail, eh? As soon as we shoot, run for the horses. Yeah. You want to stay here or we'll take care of the sheriff? Hey, I reckon you better stay, Sally. You got a slicker tongue than me. I'm scared, eh? Well, I go to take care of the sheriff, ain't I? And don't forget. Hey, what about his body? Where should I leave it? I'll tell the folks the killer's headed west. You take him across to the canyon trail on his horse. Kino. Shoot when you get there. And take off his ropes and gay. When the posse gets there, they'll figure the killer's got him. Yeah, it'll be a cinch. Now, easy. Here's the jailhouse. Get your gun handy. Look through the window. Yeah. See them? No, no, I... Yeah, wait. They're asleep, Dawson. Hold up on the bunks. Yeah, I can just make them out. Boots beside one bunk, moccasins beside the other. Yeah, this is like shooting prairie chickens. <laughs> Easier. Draw a beat on the engine. I'll take the mass man. All ready? Yeah. Empty your gun, Dawson, and don't miss. That's done it. We got the Lone Ranger. Back to your horse. Take care of the sheriff. What you shooting for? What happened? Sully, Sully, did you see him? I sure did, Perry. I was working late in my office. Two men ran up to the jailhouse and fired at the prisoners. They're done for. Where's the sheriff? He started after him. He told me to gather a posse and trail along. Get your horses. Hurry up, gents, your posse. Round up your horses. Bring your guns. Right. It'll take the boys a couple of minutes. Who are those prisoners, Sully? They're new, aren't they? Yeah. Did you take a look at them? Well, not yet, but they're outlaws, the sheriff said. Mass man and engine. A mass man and... You sure they're outlaws? Why? What makes you think different? We better take a look, Sully. It isn't customary for men to ride up and shoot prisoners. Most of the time, they break them out of jail or shoot, not shoot them. What are you driving at? What else could they be? Did you ever hear the Lone Ranger, Sully? Well, sure. If it was the Lone Ranger in jail, there's plenty of bad men would try a trick like this. Come on, we'd better go in that jailhouse and look-see. That won't be necessary, Barry. What the... Well, I'll be... You're mad. Your guess was right, Barry. The fellow and I weren't shot. You're alive! We heard them talking outside the window. The cell door was weak and we got it open in time. And we bundled up the bedclothes to make it look as if we were sleeping. We... No, you don't, Sully. You're not getting away. Let go of me. Barry, will you guard this man? He and Dawson did the shooting. What? Yes, he and Dawson have been trying to cheat Crothers out of his land. Well, I'll be doggone. So that's their little scheme. I sure will guard him. Give me those guns. The men come up with their horses. Tell them to take the canyon trail. Anything you say, mister. Tonto has gone to get Jeff Crothers and his wife. You're riding with the posse? No, I'm riding on ahead. Here, Silver. But why go ahead, mister? What's the rush? Dawson. Dawson? After they fired in the cell, we allowed Dawson to escape so we could follow his trail to the place where he's holding the sheriff. Then the posse after me. I've got to get there in time. Hip! Hold on, Silver! He's alive. And I thought we'd got him. Why, you yellow polecat. It'll take a better man than you to hurt the Lone Ranger. You'd better pray he stops Dawson from doing murder, Sully, because you'll both swing for it. Gents! Gents, hit the trail! Hit the canyon trail! The sheriff's been captured by Lem Dawson. The Lone Ranger's riding to save him. Hit the trail! What? What's that you say? There, did you hear that? By gravy, that's enough. Come on, boys! After him! Follow the Lone Ranger! <laughs> Yep, Sheriff. That's the way me and Sally worked it. Mighty slick scheme, eh? <laughs> Can't do much talking with that gag on, can you? 
Pay him to get that land for the gold. You'll be nowhere around to interfere. Matter of fact, you'll be six feet under. <laughs> Rope's kind of tight, eh? I'll take him off after I shoot you. Yeah, here's a trail. Rick will stop you. Whoa, whoa there, whoa. Take a last look at the moon, Sheriff. You won't see it anymore. That badge ought to be the best place to... What's that? Horses come from Jeff's place. I reckon I ain't got time for talk. I'll let my gun do it. Silver riding down. Mess, man. The gun. Knock me out of the saddle. Drop that gun. Drop it. No. I won't pick it up, Mass man. Don't shoot again. Keep that stallion away from me. Stand still, Lawson. Steady, Sheriff. I'll untie that gag. You, you must be a ghost. Me, me and, and Silly shot you. Point blank range. We weren't in those bunks, Dawson. We were outside that cell listening as you shot. There, Sheriff. Oh. Mask man, thanks. I didn't know you were the Lone Ranger. Not till I heard these coyotes talking. Him and Sully got me. Sully is under arrest back in town, Sheriff. There's a posse coming behind me. Holly! That's not the posse. That's Tonto with Carruthers. Dawson, untie the sheriff's ropes. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, Timo Sabe. Uh, Tonto, glad to see you. We hear shot. Me not know if Sheriff's still alive or what happened. You get here in time, huh? Yes, Tonto. Thanks to Silver. Mister, the engine gave me the whole story. You saved my land for me. And my life. As for you, Lem Dawson, I hope you get what's coming to you. You're worse than a side miner. You needn't snake. worry, Crothers. Dawson will get what's coming to him. So will Sully. Now, Sheriff, Tonto and I are leaving now. Can you take charge of Dawson? I sure can, mister. Jeff, lend me your gun so I can keep Dawson in line. Well, here you are. So long, engine. So long, mister. Ah, adios. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Sheriff, I... I won't hang, will I? You'll get what you deserve, Dawson. Gosh, look at him ride. That white horse sure is a sight in the moonlight, Sheriff. I only wish they were staying to see my house get finished. Well, he's got business elsewhere, Jeff. But don't forget, if it wasn't for the Lone Ranger, you wouldn't have any house at all. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.